instantly become a DeFi trading pro with Kyber Network. So this is how much USDT you're getting on SushiSwap, on Uniswap, and on KyberSwap. And KyberSwap is a part of the Kyber Network. It is a liquidity aggregator, which we'll get into in a little bit. And you can see what's happening to your trade. So you have one Ethereum, for example, and 70% of your, oh, it just updated. So this is what KyberSwap is constantly doing. It's gonna consistently update to make sure you get full value for your trades. So you can see you have one ETH. It's gonna convert that into USDC on Balancer. Then it's gonna convert that to wrapped Bitcoin on Dodo, and then it's going to convert that into USDT on Curve all in one transaction, getting you the most value for your money. So that's 1905 USDT on Uniswap 1901 on SushiSwap 1896. Now this video is going to cover a lot of Kyber Network, what they're doing in the DeFi space, as well as their major platform, KyberSwap, and how you can benefit from being a liquidity provider, as well as the tokenomics of the KNC token, and what I think about the project and its potential future. Now this video is sponsored by Kyber Network, but I am going to give an unbiased review, because I do think it is a tool that is going to help you in the DeFi space when you are trading, so you get your full value. And before we begin, none of this is financial advice, please do your own research and form your own opinion before making an investment. We are going to go over the KNC token later in this video, but if you are going to trade on DeFi, consider using KyberSwap first to see how many tokens you would get rather than going directly to a decentralized exchange. What is KyberSwap? KyberSwap is a liquidity aggregator and it makes sure you get the best value for your trades. And what it's doing is it's searching all the decentralized exchanges out there, at least all the major ones that they've partnered with. It looks for the trade you have in mind and it looks for the best rate possible. Now, if you are trading ETH to USDT, it's not just gonna do a direct trade. Sometimes it can find a lower rate by trading it through other coins along the way. So that is what KyberSwap is doing. And if you're not using KyberSwap, you might be surprised by the results you're going to get. Now, if you're not familiar with liquidity, liquidity is the amount of coins available on an exchange to facilitate trading. If you don't have a lot of liquidity, the price is going to change very drastically as you buy or sell a token. And looking at a more practical example, this is the Marina Bay Sands in Singapore, and we want to book this hotel. But if we search Trivago directly, we're going to see what the price is, or Next Day Hotels, or TripAdvisor, or Reserve com we're gonna get very different prices with Google hotels it shows you that the lowest rate possible is gonna be 391 that's pretty much what KyberSwap is doing but in DeFi they are searching all the possible places where you can trade and it's gonna do the arbitrage for you if it's gonna use a little bit more gas it's gonna factor that into the price to make sure you have the most coins possible at the end of your trade now let's look at more KyberSwap features so let's say we want to be a liquidity provider they actually have more tools than other decentralized exchanges because they have concentrated liquidity which means you can control the price of your liquidity range which means you could potentially earn much more than having an infinite range now that is a more advanced DeFi lesson but we're just gonna walk through some of it so this is a USDC to USD trading pair that's stablecoin to stablecoin that is a 0.008% fee then typically you're gonna have a 0.3% fee for other pools and for more unique pairs you might see a 1% fee. Now you can create your own pool or add liquidity to an existing pool. So let's say we want to add to ETH USDT. We can select the fee tier that we like and we can also set our price range. This is concentrated liquidity and the more trades that happen within our trading range, the more rewards we're going to get. So you can kind of set it around the price, maybe up 10%, down 10%, whatever it may be. Adding liquidity is up to you, but of course crypto is very volatile. So you want a comfortable range where the trading can happen. Now, if we trade in a sideways market, being a liquidity provider is very lucrative. If we are in a bear market or a bull market, you could suffer from a lot of losses. So understand those risks before being a liquidity provider. Now, what happens when the price is out of your range? It just stops trading. It's like your liquidity isn't there. You just hold the tokens. And if it goes back in your price range, then it will continue using your liquidity and you will be earning fees. Now, the interesting thing 
thing about being a liquidity provider on KyberSwap is that your liquidity provider rewards get reinvested into the liquidity pool. And that is automatically set to an infinite range. So if you are using concentrated liquidity, your liquidity provider rewards are going to be in the infinite range and it's going to be in a separate pool that you can claim at any time. Now, all of that might sound like gibberish, but if you are more advanced as a DeFi user, that's going to make more sense to you. And if you're not, join the Discord. We can talk it through. Maybe we'll do some workshops and you could be a moderately good DeFi user. That's the goal, moderately good. Anything higher than that, that's up to you. And looking at other features, there's farm, there's campaigns and there's discover. Now discover shows coins that are trending and coins that are trending soon, which potentially means that, hey, there's something happening and potentially the price could spike. So what it says here is our true site technology analyzes on-chain data, trading volumes and price trend lines to discover tokens that could be trending in the near future. Disclaimer, the information here should not be treated as any form of financial advice. It just says, hey, Something unusual is happening here and potentially this could be going up or down because it's very unusual. Now let's talk about the KNC token. What is the Kyber Network Crystal token for? First of all, there are two versions of the coin, KNC V2 and KNC Legacy. V2 is the coin you're going to want to use if you want to get involved with their DAO and the DAO's voting rewards, which is technically staking. But to actually get those rewards, you have to stake and vote. Now, even though KyberSwap operates on multiple blockchains, Kyber Network's token operates on Ethereum as an ERC20 token. So if you are going to stake your coins, you have to remember that you will be paying Ethereum gas fees and you have to consider the amount you're staking, if it's worth it for the gas fees and the additional gas fees you might be paying when having to participate in a vote. So for example, if you are holding a small amount of KNC, maybe a hundred dollars worth or less, you might want to consider staking your KNC on a centralized exchange like Binance. Now, if you are going to stake the token, you have to go to kyber.org and then you have to go to get started and you have to connect your wallet. So if you have KNC tokens in your wallet, you are going to go to my stake. You are going to hit stake and deposit your KNC. And it says you must stake KNC in the current epoch in order to vote in the next epoch. So each epoch is about two weeks. And to get these voting rewards, you can see there's over 9,000 KNC available that you're going to need to vote. Now you could delegate it to someone or you could vote, but if you don't vote, you are not eligible for those rewards. And then the entire voting reward reward pool gets split up among the people who do vote. So there is a lot of incentive for you to participate. Now, one of the biggest values to the KNC token is their revenue model. So when you are providing liquidity on KyberSwap by putting up your tokens, 10% from the rewards you get are paid out to the Kyber DAO. That goes directly to the voting reward pool, and then that gets distributed to the people staking and voting in that pool. Now, depending on the trading volume, the amount for the voting rewards could be a lot. Because Kyber Network is partnering with uh, different wallets, if you didn't know, MetaMask has a swap feature as well as Trust Wallet. That's powered by Kyber Network. And as Kyber Network grows and they increase their partnerships, that could increase trading volume. That means more rewards for liquidity providers. That means more rewards for people in the voting pool. And all KNC tokens have already been distributed. So all these KNC token buybacks from the voting reward pool fees kind of makes KNC deflationary, which which makes it good long term as long as they have trading volume. Now, I don't know if the token price is going to go up or down, so that's not financial advice, but that is just what's happening with their revenue model, with their liquidity provider fees, and where everything is going. And of course, we have to talk about Kyber Network liquidity fees, because if you are adding liquidity and you are getting these liquidity provider fees, how much is Kyber Network taking? They are taking 10% and they are giving that to the Kyber Network DAO, which then gets distributed to the Kyber Network stakers voting on the DAO governance proposals. And if you think a 10% fee is a lot, Curve charges a 50% fee and SushiSwap has a 17% fee. And with Uniswap, if you are a liquidity provider there, you are getting liquidity provider rewards, but those don't get reinvested. So you don't get compound interest, which you could get on KyberSwap. So in the long run, you might do better on KyberSwap, but that is hypothetical because this is not financial advice and I can't predict the future.
Before we jump into my opinion on Kyber Network, we also have to understand that they've been building in DeFi since 2017, KNC is listed on all major crypto exchanges, and Kyber Network helped create wrapped Bitcoin so we could trade Bitcoin on Ethereum and on other projects, and this was done in collaboration with BitGo and REN. So one of the most valuable things that I think Kyber Network is doing is partner integrations. This is integrating their swap feature with other platforms platforms like MetaMask Swap, Trust Wallet Swap, and this can happen for wallets, this could happen for decentralized apps, and this could potentially happen for some crypto exchanges. So what Kyber Network is doing, they are wrapping their liquidity provider services, they are charging no fees, so a place like MetaMask can roll in their own commission if they want, so they can make some funds. And the value of this is that Kyber Network liquidity providers get to see more trading volume, which creates more rewards for liquidity providers, which creates more rewards for people staking the KNC token and voting on DAO proposals. So the real success of the KNC token really depends on trading volume, and that trading volume can increase as they expand their partnerships. And if you didn't know, they are partners with wallets and token swap services, decentralized NFT and e-commerce payments, and other decentralized finance. They even work with their competitors, they will route trades through them if that is the best rate for your trade. So their business model is very clear, it's straightforward, and it depends on trading volume for liquidity providers. And for the token, Potentially, it's deflationary at the moment, but with DAO governance proposals, if they want to mint new tokens, that is possible if everyone agrees on that. But for now, all tokens that have been created are already circulating, and we're not going to see any new tokens unless the DAO says they need that to happen. And that's why people vote and participate in these DAOs, so they can help guide the future of what's going to happen with a token. And if you are a token holder, you probably don't want to see new tokens minted, unless unless they're used for marketing and growing the ecosystem, because long-term growth could create more value for the token holders. But of course, I also want to know what you think. Let me know in the comments, join the Discord, follow me on Twitter, and with that, I hope you got your full value for today.